Talk presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Central Florida tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Jayhawks offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at the 24. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Wow, that looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start as a lineman will see Still movement the on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Larry, Larry. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Hit second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 35. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. He's going to air it long. Caught the 10, and he will score. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Scrambling around. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation.
taken down the 39 yard line that's going to bring up fourth down just a great job by the defense these guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line and again they provided great pressure on the play and the offense just wasn't able to get the first down he's taken down at the 31. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 34. Kansas is up seven. Nice run up the middle. Slides down. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good hard running for the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. Now, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. From the 27 yard line. First down. He's tackled around the 26 yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Throws a bullet over the middle. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the 13-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. It's the ninth play of the drive. Kansas is up a score. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. converts the extra point. Keller has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Slings it, and he is drilled at the 23. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second and 12. Ball in the 23. Throws a laser across the middle. And down he goes around the 33 yard line. That'll bring up 32.
Running the option on third down is perhaps a risky call, but the defense didn't look totally prepared for it, and they gave up the first down yardage. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39. He scrambled. Tackle at the 48-yard line. That brings up second and one. Complete, and he's out of bounds. That's a team of 14 yards on the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a team of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 24. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 24. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Caught over the middle. Inside the 10. Touchdown, UCF! It's the PAT. Central Florida ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Jayhawks really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game. They're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Kansas is up by a touchdown. And he's level at the 29-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Makes his way to about the 42. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. Run left side. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. No game. That brings up second and nine. The scoreboard lit up in that first 15 minutes. Jayhawks with a touchdown lead. And 
and we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Neal was the intended receiver on that pass. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Richardson is back deep to return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. Throws it in a hurry. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? So it's second and 13. Ball on the 42-yard line. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Here they come. That's a great tackle at the 32. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. McCarthy to punt. bring him down to the 37-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Now he pitches it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49. That's a first down here, and I'd love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or, at times, running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Kansas up seven points. Now he's going to run and watch out. Brought down around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled in the open field. You 
Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He fights forward to about the 33. From the 33-yard line, third down. Throws it, and it's tipped away. That is a great play here by the corner to be able to knock that football away. In many cases, you'll see a corner actually try to knock the football away, and he'll interfere with the wide receiver. This time, he keeps his body and arms away from the receiver and still knocks it away. That's a big-time play. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down at the 26. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Gets to about the 41-yard line. The Jayhawks over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage, but the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership, and that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. Second down and five. Ball on their own 46. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He throws it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. It's first and ten. Ball in the twenty nine. the right side taken down hard that makes it second and ten there are five wide receivers split out the quarterback in the gun tackle after a decent run up the gut third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down made at the 26 yard line the thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays but if you keep running it it'll create some big play opportunities he gets it up and it's long enough and it 
that's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 20 to 7, Kansas. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Six yards that time on the pass play. And it was a simple throw right back to the halfback who did a good job of getting some positive yards on the play. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Receivers got it on the screen. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. converts the extra point. Central Florida gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Kansas up six. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. From their own 25 yard line, it's second down. He makes it to the 28 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it 37. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. Richardson is the deep man awaiting the return. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Not sure that touchdown on their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. And he's tackled at the 37. This is the time to open up your playbook and do something unpredictable. So I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish right here. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 41-yard line, third down. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kansas is up by six. He steps out at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 47. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game.
from their own 47 yard line. First down. Under pressure, and down he goes, right around the 50. Daniels gets three yards on that scramble. Jayhawks will use their first time out of the half. Tackle right around the 40. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question, when you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. They bring him down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25 yard line. Kansas with a six point lead. He's tackled at the nine yard line. He's on the run. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Keller has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. We played a half of football. Kansas leads it. 27-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Welcome to the aerial circuit. Both teams averaging at least 10 yards per pass. I'm not real good at math. I've been hitting the head a lot, but that's that's a first down and pass, right? Yes, you're, you're doing fine. A for basic math so far, but an F for these defensive backs. Now, look, everybody wants to be the smooth athlete, the ball hawking guy, but you sometimes you have to go up and knock the guy off his route. Now, I'm not seeing much of that. Am I seeing it wrong? No, it seems like uh, seven on seven. It's a it's a passing clinic, and, and there is there is a lot to defensive backs and messing up the timing and getting your hands on receivers. And I know there's rules that limit that after five yards, but sometimes you just got to do something a little bit different. How about put some fear in a guy, too? He's going to go over the middle. He's going to make a big catch. How about you rock him? You know, you use that hit stick and truck somebody, make them think twice about it again, or maybe they'll fumble it. And you know, that's that's what's important about playing defensive back is, is being physical and having receivers know that they're going to be in for a fight all day. And right now, it just seems like guys getting free release, getting open, making big plays, and looks like seven on seven. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Yeah. 
He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 31. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. On play action, he'll scramble. find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. Pressure and brought down. I think these guys have come to play today. Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. Boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. now after the sack. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. McCarthy to punt. Booming kick. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He's at midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. down 10 yards to go ball on the 41 five wide nice run up the middle Ball on the 18-yard line. He makes it to the 18-yard line. about the seven. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gets to about the five-yard line. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away.
Richardson from the one. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. The Knights are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of six on the That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. First down. Scrambled. And he's taken down at the 49. That's good for a game 10 yards. That makes it first down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Makes it out to about the 29. That's a team of 14 yards on the way. First and 10. Ball on the 29. Quick strike to the back. No good. run here right side That's good for a game of seven yards. Third down. they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down and they hit him in the backfield well you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run Kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 34-17. Hampton, Central Florida, is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The Jayhawks had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. They come out on an empty backfield. Man open, incomplete. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Tackled after decent pickup. Here's this one. It's picked off. It's the junior. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line.
Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. He showed pretty good ability to read the defense and see an opening. That is a very frustrating play for a defense, too, and it can be demoralizing. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Nice run there. Harvey gains about five yards on the run. That brings him second and five. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 12-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. run to the outside. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled at the five-yard line. Little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Central Florida, ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Jayhawks staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Uh, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. He's taken down at the 34. Close to nine-yard pickup there on the slant. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. And that time, he paid for being a step behind the receiver. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackle at the 43. Right around the 44-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. yard line so they're gonna go for it here 
Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's scrambling. And he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. And they'll fail on fourth down. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He fights forward to about the 46. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. 34-20, Kansas. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He makes his way to about the 38. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He takes it right side for a good game. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. From the 21-yard line, first down. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 18. He's on the run. And he hits him hard at the 23-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. They come out in a five-wide set. and he's got his man brought down at the 14-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. Huge play for the defense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense has that option to play snuffed down from the get-go. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's first down. Five wide. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. Larry, Larry. Makes it to the 37. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. And they got 
to him before he could get back to the line. Makes it to the 35 yard line. Third down and 11 coming up here. All on their own 35. They'll make the sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Fourth and long here after the sack. Richardson will be the return man. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. For Kansas, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. The real storyline here is the upset in the making. And part of the credit certainly goes to the guys lining up on the defensive side of the ball. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Makes it to the 31. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's level at the 22. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's hit and taken down. So they'll pick up a first down there on a four-yard completion. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. TD pass number three. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. I'm kind of surprised. These guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's having. And he adds the extra point. Central Florida is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This young quarterback's been a big factor today, Kirk. This is one of the most frustrating things for defense, is just when you think you have him contained, he's athletic enough to get away from pressure, keep the play alive, and eventually make a big play. And he's got his team in a winning position at the moment. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Kansas is up by a touchdown. Scrambling around, and he's taken down at the 25. That makes it second and 10. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. 
He scrambles. And they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Richardson is back deep to return. Richardson fields it at the 34, and he's tackled at the 43-yard line. You know who's been wreaking havoc again. Any coach in the country will tell you to have a great defensive player, he's got to have intensity, and he's got to have an edge to him. This young man has demonstrated that, and I don't know if I've seen anybody play with this kind of effort all year long. To me, this is just a classic example of this being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. He's trying to get this crowd up on their feet and give the defense a little support. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he tackles him hard at the 44. Counter play is good for about a yard. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled in the open field. That brings up second and one. Inside handoff. And they'll get him in the backfield. Nowhere to go on the delay. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Runs it left for a decent game. Game of six yards. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And they make the stop at the 14. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. Tosses left. Runs outside for a nice game. Harvey picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball on the toss play. This is the 11th play of this drive. They try running left. Touchdown, UCF!
have less than a minute to go. He makes the PAT late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Central Florida to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. you got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. and it's going the other way. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play, and boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. First and 10, ball on their own 32. Cavalry's coming. The offense scoops it. Tackle at the 34-yard line. Open field. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. He's scrambling. They bring him down. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Second down, seven to go. Ball on the 22. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend a, a receiver. Here, you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. So now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game. Kicks up, 
And the field goal is good. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 21-yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Second down and six. Ball on the 21. Throws into coverage, just picked off. From the 25 yard line. First down. And down he goes, right around the 22 yard line. and they wrestle him down behind the line. Really good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Kicks away, and it's good! Well, the defense got the stop, and now this young man has very coolly come through to put the W in his team's win column. Is this great or what? And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Central Florida, 40, Kansas, 37. That brings this broadcast to a close. Free A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.